Hi guys, JJ here, back with another video, and today we are on the MEP server, and I am going to be, first off, doing some enchanting, I really need a good sword, and actually, I want to, um, oh, wait, wait, can't you just do that, that, yeah, 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 um, Okay, let's just ask him. Don't want to spam and chat for other people. Um, Miss Ray also cleared this up. Ender pearls in here. Chicken, I I dropped this off here because I thought people might need it when they are hacking away at these uh, annoying little endermen up here. We've got this, of course, still. We've got these. I think he arranged this as well. Got this, which I did the ender ender guide. Yeah, I think I. Ex yeah. Okay. I think that was the, the way that it's meant to be done, but someone actually put one of them on there, and we haven't got the TNT actually working yet, because, of course, um, oh, unwanted enchanted items, Bane of Arthropods 4 on one of them, a wooden sword, that is rather interesting, and just thinking about that, I didn't start my timer, there we go, so yeah, let's just get hacking away at some of these, and I want to talk to you guys about, well, mostly my holiday, it was a lot of fun. Went skiing in Austria. Um, actually close to where LZ lives, probably, maybe. I don't know. He lives in Austria, so it could well be. And, uh... Um... No, we don't want to do that. We want to do this. Yeah, because I want to know, because of course... It, well, this might be a bit sneaky. But basically, I could either use two diamonds for a diamond sword, or all 13 emeralds with my blacksmith. So that's why I'm wondering... Or maybe I could buy them... Um, okay, let's just say this. Just say that as well because I know he wants um, he wants lapis because he's trying to get it in a shop as well. But yeah, um, Austria. It was it was lovely. Basically, the I think I arrived on the so left on the Friday um, afternoon about one o'clock. Got to Munich where we stayed on the first night for about God how long was uh, that? We stayed there and then we got there about I think eightish or something eight in the evening maybe nine yeah I think I think it was about nine in the evening and then oh no 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 wrong button um take that come on come on come on come on sharpness four okay that's good I wanted the sharpness but we still need uh, one diamond for a block I suppose and I could trade up to ten blocks Um, one down for a block. Okay, that's good because that means 20. I get 18 emeralds for two diamonds, and I use 13 of those emeralds for the diamond sword. Um, so basically, that's a win win situation for both of us, I think. Um, comes to the end because I have diamonds here and I'm happy to trade what was that what would that be ten diamonds for ten blocks and then all I would have to do is go back it will also help me unlock the uh, one uh, another one of his uh, the blacksmith trades hopefully and what I also need to do is get um, I need to en enchant books because I really five ten mins leading mushroom back Okay, so yeah, um, Austria, it was lovely, so we got to Munich at about 9 o'clock in the evening on Friday, which was pretty cool. By the way guys, if you don't know why I'm, it looks like I'm clicking so fast and not actually even doing anything, even when there aren't any mobs there, it's because, oh, that was some lag. Um, I've set up this thing, basically, which is an auto-clicker. Um, 
I basically thought, well, it's it's really hurting my uh, my finger doing this, and it's going to end up getting me some kind of nasty, what do you call it, arthritis? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Um, going to get me some nasty arthritis. So I better not do it. So I set up an auto clicker with Logitech, um, what is it, gaming software. Basically, it clicks the down button ten times a second, I believe. And that just, yeah, it just clicks away. It's actually faster than the game can click itself. Oh, and we're at 30 levels. I'm going to start doing some book enchants now until he gets back. So I really want some prop 4 for my sneakers, which I still have not fully got back. Come on. Ooh, protection 3. That's promising. Hopefully we can get another one of them. Um, and yeah, so um, I set up that. Just really helpful. I just quickly change in the... Wait, let me just quickly show you guys. In the controls menu, just quickly change this to... Because it's normally a button 1. Just change it to down. And that means that I can do this. But of course, I haven't done it for a while, so I tried to record, like... What was it? Like, m literally a minute before I started recording this episode. And I tried to record, uh, start the episode off then. Accidentally tried to do this, um, the the auto clicking, and I just ended up accidentally uh, stopping recording, which wasn't meant to happen. But yeah, let's get back to Austria, guys, and sort of dragging on here. But I hope you guys like me talking. I heard from one guy my uh, episodes run a bit dry sometimes, and I totally agree with him. I think I should just spend trying to spend more more time doing, yeah, more time on my episodes and just maybe upload once every two days or something because I'm now really trying to go for a video a day but it's not necessarily good and I could probably spend more time on them and make them better better quality not necessarily well of course video quality I mean like content as what I've got in them because I think my quality in general otherwise is good audio I still really want to uh, get better audio quality because I know that it can be a lot better definitely looking for the Samsung CO1U Sharpness 3, okay, that's all so good. So, yeah, looking at the Samsung CO1U, which is a very good microphone, and quite a lot of YouTubers use it. Also, the Blue Snowball is one that's used a lot by YouTubers. I know my, one of my friends used the Snowball, one of them used the Yeti, and one of them uses the um, the CO1U, and I like all of their quality pretty much. I do have to say, the Yeti definitely does sound better, and the Blue Snowball is probably the worst, but it's like, it's like barely noticeable, I would think. Uh, my friend with the CL1U though does do a lot of uh, audio editing, so I don't know what that would sound like, just bare kind of thing. I don't know, I can't really hear the difference in Skype, so maybe he could do a little test for me. I might ask um, him for that and see whether I go with that or the Snowball. Um, but I really do want to get a desk mount, so I just mount it on my desk and I can just like move it, move it off my desk kind of completely, if you guys get what I mean. So yeah, let's get back to Austria. We left Munich on the Saturday morning about 8 o'clock-ish, probably. Actually, no, probably 9, because we had breakfast there as well. And I'm about to start taking hunger damage. And I've got 30 levels. Yeah, so we left there at 9 in the morning, probably. 9, maybe maybe even 10. And I have a completely full knockback 2 unbreaking 3. That is rather interesting. I might well use that on a sword. Hmm... Yeah, I suppose I will do. I think I will. Um, let's see. Ender pearls. I don't know why I brought all of these, all of these book and quills with me. It's kind of pointless. Um, let's see. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, of course. That's from Sheepers. I still need to ask him whether he wants that back. I probably should. Um, okay. So what have we got now? We got protection of three for my boots. Sharpness three. Not back two. I'm breaking three. I've got a fire aspect, I believe. I just need another sharpness 3 and another 4, I think. Because I really want the sharpness 5 on that. Which would be very good, and I would be very happy with that. But yeah, we uh, left Munich 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. And got to where I went, which was Bugastein. It's the Gasteiner um, area. Um, has It's like a, a, a valley, and Bugastein is pretty much at the end of the valley. You've got, before that, you've got um, the first village pretty much is Dorfgastein. Then you've got. Um, wait, no, let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, Dorfgastein, then Bad Hofgastein, then Badgastein, and then Sportgastein. And I might need to quickly log here, because this is. Let's just quickly log. 
I don't know what's wrong. Who's that? MZ on Ultimate Crew. He's the new guy on the server. Pretty cool guy. Lives in London, so I might be doing some recording with him, Big Jim Rennie, and Miss Ray, which is pretty damn cool. Nice guys. Um, let's see. They might start spawning now. Let's just hope they do. Okay, so we're going to have to walk around here for a bit. We could even see... Actually, I don't know when is... How long are we recording? Ten minutes now. Okay, we'll just wait up here and I can continue my uh, my story. So yeah, those are the uh, the towns in our valley. Very, uh, very nice valley. It's lovely snow. So basically, it snowed on the Saturday before we got there, the Saturday evening. We got there on the... No, it, it snowed. So we got there on the Saturday evening at about probably... Actually, it wasn't the evening. I think it was the afternoon, about one o'clock. And then it's uh, we went into town, got our, our lift passes, and booked uh, lessons for me and my little brother for the next three days, so that's Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then it snowed the Sunday evening when we were inside sleeping, which is what most normal people do at least uh, at night. And then, basically, we had our lessons on the Sunday, the Monday, and the Tuesday, and our parents went just general um, skiing uh, on, the, on themselves. By themselves, not on themselves. Uh, by themselves, yeah, and they really enjoyed that, and they are starting to, maybe I just need to move around a bit, I don't know, but they are starting to spawn now, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, did that, and on the Tuesday, uh, just after my lesson, at, well, actually, what uh, in my lesson at about, because the lesson started at course to 10 and end at 3, and you get a lunch break, um, with, like, you, who you're who you're getting the, your lesson from, like, your instructor, hey, there's Mr. A. Um, let's see. Has he got... Let's just go down quickly. <laughs> okay, now MC Osmo Cruz is uh, saying... Okay, they're all saying hello. Um... <laughs> Lol, I think they're getting kind of confused. So, yeah. Um... Right, that's it. Let's just ask him if he has. Um, so yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, Tuesday about... Yeah, so you get your lunch break from about half twelve to one-ish, pretty much. And um, so basically it was probably about two in the afternoon. And yeah, I got the stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's get my emeralds. That should... No, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, shove them back in there. We still want to keep one book in the corner, actually. And okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where the hell? Oh, he's there. God, how the hell did I miss him there? I do not know. Let's just quickly get these levels. Uh, these, are, this is XP. Um, ten diamonds. Okay. Okay, that's oh okay, awesome. Um so we've now got that and we can go and do some trading with our guy. Probably gonna just trade okay, so that's um I'm gonna make a cut guys. Actually, am I? No. I'm not. I'm gonna carry on talking to you guys about my holiday because otherwise I'll definitely lose track of where I was. Okay, so my lesson, yes, um, I was coming down this piece, and basically, um, it was I was off pit. No, I wasn't coming down a piece, a uh, piece, and I was off piece with uh, with the guy um, who was giving us our uh, lesson, the instructor. Basically, we had a really young group, so he was doing a lot of um, a lot of off piece stuff with the younger guys or and girls in the group. And what the hell is happening? Okay, that's the obsidian farm. I take it. Or not, I don't know. Um, right, let's see. Obsidian farm collection under trapdoor. Yeah, okay, it is. I thought so. So, um, yeah. Basically, that happened, and we were off piste, and I sort of fell over forwards. No, I fell over. I was doing like, let's say that this is coming down the mountain here. So basically, I was coming down like this, and then I went to turn sideways like that, and then I sort of fell. Backwards, like 
I, I was just about to do my turn like this, and then I fell backwards over like this. My head went up in the air, and then my skis landed here. My face was like... I was I was face up with my back to the snow, and my skis were in the ground here, basically. And then my body weight shifted over so that my face was in the snow. And so basically... My my body weight shifted, my left ski clicked out, but my right one didn't, and I just heard my knee just go crack, kind of thing. Luckily I was okay, but I did have to take about a five minute break just to kind of recover. Um, let's see, we have... wait, have we actually got any bow, good sword, fishing, bad sword? Have we got protection? Oh, we got protection three. So we can now put... Um, Okay, we've got 27 levels. We want to put that. Then we're gonna uh, anvil, anvil, anvil. Let's go down here. Oh, big Jim already left the game, or Mitchell as he's called. Um, okay, nice, we got that. So let's see, will it cost 22 levels? I'm curious. Oh yes, awesome. Oh, we've got our brilliant boots back now. Yes, so happy about that. I have missed them dearly. Because they really do help protection from boots. It, even though you think, oh, it's just boots, it doesn't help that much. It it really actually does, which is cool. Let's see. Actually, we want to go back down here and put the end of pearls in the chest. Because I don't know, we might be running slightly. Mm, not too bad, but hey. Um, and now we've got these two, and we want to go and check if we've got. Okay, so let me just carry on my story, and I'll do some stuff in the background. So basically. Um, yeah, that happened. It was rather painful, and... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I did not realise that. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. I really did not know that. Loot oh, wait, I've got loot... I could literally already make my sword. What was I waiting for? What was I waiting for? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Sharpness. Sharpness 4. Then we're putting on this, then we're putting on this, and then we're putting on this. Will it have too many enchants? I do not know. One, two, three, four, five. It might well do. I don't even need these emeralds, but I'm going to go and trade with them anyway. Let's see. Uh, two other guys on. They might want sleep. I don't know. So yeah, that happened, and I recovered after about five minutes. It was rather painful. My knee is still really hurting. Okay, he's in. Um, yeah, my knee is still really hurting. And basically, I came down the mountain, I listened to finish, it was probably about quarter past three, and I was going for probably the last run of the day, because I was, I was pretty cold and quite tired, because it had got, it had got really cold on the, on the Tuesday. And so that happened, I was cold, and I thought, uh, hell, I'm gonna stop. So basically, I was at the bottom of the piece, and what happened was, um... What am I trying to say? What happened was, yeah, I came down this, I was coming down the mountain, and there was this bump, and I have my gl goggles on, not goggles, what do you call them, like, snow glasses, no, skiing, gl skiing glasses, I suppose you call them that, that's the literal translation from Dutch at least, I can't remember the English name, and I am English, I'm so crap at this language, you know, but I was coming down, and there was this bump that I really did not see, and I literally flipped over, my skis went up like this, still pointing this way, went up like this, over my head, and my hip smashed on the ice, literally on like a corner of ice like this. And I couldn't walk for the for the Wednesday and the Thursday, I just could not walk, it was ridiculous. And I cannot trade with this guy either. Why can I not trade with this guy? Dude, come closer. Dude. Dude, you... Oh god, you, you, you've just ruined everything, man. Come on. Come on, dude. Come closer. So yeah, I did that. It was it was so painful. I oh my god, I was in just pure. Ag there we go. I was in agony. It was crazy. Awesome. If unlocked that one. Let's see. Hopefully we don't have to do that too many times. I could I suppose sell these things to people. Maybe I don't know. And so yeah, I could not ski for the Wednesday and the Thursday. It was really, really. It was such a shame because of course you spend so much money on like ski pass and stuff, and you can't actually use them. And so, basically, I was um, I was at home for Wednesday and Thursday, just all on my own. My family went off skiing, 
without me. They're, oh, they're so mean. No, I'm joking. They're not mean. They're lovely. But, um, yeah, they, they sort of had to because it was kind of unfair for them to stay, stay home with me just because I'd hurt myself. And so, basically, um, yeah, on the Friday, I went skiing again because I was feeling quite a bit better. And let's see, is he is he going to unlock this trade? No, not yet. Oh my god, I have... Let's just ask him that, because I still want to make a gain on these and not just like not use them because I know he's still using iron. Okay, let's see. Um, so yeah, I had to stay home. It was rather unfortunate, but hey, it had. And Friday went skiing again. It was lovely. Went with my mum because my dad and little brother wanted to stay on the little blue soap at the bottom, which was understandable because we were all really tired and they didn't really want to do any work. And so, yeah, they did that. And I went up on some breads with my mum, which was rather fun. She is slightly slow, you could say. So, uh, it was. She sort of kept me back a bit. Bit, I want to say, but I don't know, that's slightly mean, I suppose. But um, it was fun anyway, I really enjoyed it, and it was just good to have an. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to make a quick cut here, sorry about the break, I'm going to make a quick cut, and I'll be right back, just going to do some trading with that, maybe make an agreement with the uh, MC Osmic crew, and probably go out and do something with my parents or something, because of course they don't want me on the computer the whole time, which I have been slightly too much, you could say. Um, so yeah guys, I'm going to make a quick cut here, and I will see you in a second. Okay guys, I am back, and yeah. I've been... oh, seriously, starts to rain just as I start recording. It's just typical, isn't it? Um, okay, that's the door going. I was wondering what the hell that was. Um, villagers might be breeding, I don't know. I think it's because of the cap I've got in here. These guys over here are capping them. So basically, I've traded this guy for some glowstone. Um, and I got the, you saw that, I got the emeralds of Mr. A, used them all to get some stuff from this guy, which, uh, okay, let's see, come on, open back up, okay, there we go, so I've now got, what, what have I got that's good, I need gold now, but I've got the, I've got the iron sword, iron chest plate, uh, iron for emeralds, Diamond axe, iron boots, iron shovel, iron diamond hoe, diamond chest plate, diamond shovel, chain chest plate, iron helmet, chain helmet, chain leggings, diamond sword, iron leggings, iron axe, and diamond boots, and now the gold trade. Um, wait, actually, how, how many is that? I, I don't have a clue how many that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we need 6 more, is that, I believe? I'm going to go get my gold. Um, yeah, let's go get our gold, and then I can carry on. Wait, did I have? Yeah, I have my Sword of Awesomeness. I got this book, which is okay-ish, I suppose, if someone wants Fire Aspect 1. Some people do. Um, yeah, it's... It's a crazy sharpness five, fire aspect two, looting three, knockback two, and breaking three. And uh, MC Osmic crew is online. Well, was online, I suppose. And yeah, I've been using the obsidian farm in the end, of course, just uh, getting rid of the the spawning platform that you spawn on. And got how much? Fifty. You get twenty-five a go because it's a five by five area. Um, gold. Okay, let's see. Just grab all the gold, why not chuck this in here? We have quite a bit of gunpowder, which is pretty sweet. I was also planning on making a shop, 
um, which was going to be 1.7 and 1.8 stuff like packed ice and acacia wood and like all the new types of woods, slime blocks and stuff. And then it turns out that that's the whole point of shovel shop. So I'm, I said I wasn't going to do that anymore. I think it's a bit unfair if that was the whole point of a shop. I didn't really realize that. I thought it was just selling some random stuff. Like I didn't realize clocks were part of the new. Uh, I have a lot of gold. Jeez. Um, okay, let's start trading this guy. Hopefully we can get past this trade pretty quickly. But it's pretty good to get it early on because, well, yeah, it's an annoying trade to have to carry on doing. You lose a lot of gold with it when it's later on because I got how many six pairs of pants or something six pairs of iron leggings something like that I'm pretty sure hopefully it'll be quick I don't know it'll probably take like forever seeing as it's the gold trade often does but hey it's always good to get it in the beginning which is when most people get it or most people hope to get it at least oh yeah it's not raining that's why we um okay Got flying over here, but of course this stuff drops, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I just realised that the tree farm is totally not being used. But uh, yeah. So what I've been doing, I did the sword. I sold stuff to MC for um, for diamonds with with the emeralds that I got from. I think I got a better deal. I bought what was it? Ten. I bought I bought ten blocks of emeralds off uh, Mr. A for 10 diamonds I got I got a diamond chest plate f I, I gave him one of these that's 9 emeralds one of these 9 plus 17 is 26 um, and one of these 26 39 and then plus 7 is 46 so 46 emeralds I used on him and I got 10 diamonds which is equivalent to what I got from him which was 90 so basically I did that half price so you could say I gained five blocks of emeralds or five diamonds whatever you want to say um, okay come on Jeez, it's so much clicking the whole time okay I, I want this to be done quickly come on please just get past this trade it's really annoying I really hate this trade because you have to oh yeah I also named my shovel I realized I hadn't named the shovel which was kind of weird. I was pretty sure I had, but obviously not. Um, let's see. Come on, you can be done yet. How many trades have I done? Four. Come on, I can't even trade with you like this. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, ten. That's cheap. That is cheap. That's cheap. Oh, yes, we got the pickaxe trade. I'm so happy about that. We, oh yeah, that is brilliant. That's, oh yes, I'm happy about that. I can't wait until the bank gets set up. I'm not sure when that's happening, but I'm going to be buying, unless I get an infinite villager, I'm going to be buying a lot of emeralds. Um, I really do want an infinite villager, but it's just really not happening with the, the speed that this is going at. I really need to... Okay, let's see. Out of here, we want to get slice and dice and we want to get our silk touch pick and actually I might need these and I'm thinking about making a silk touch um, silk touch shears as well which are rather... oh they're breeding now okay typical you just suddenly start breeding when I was about to kill some of you um, actually I might still do that because it's just a pain in the backside really when they um Okay, let's see. What could I get rid of? I need. To, uh, let's just quickly get some dirt. Might as well. Um, eight. It's just no. Or seven. Good enough. Um. Okay, there we go. Actually, let's just get that off. Okay, that looks a bit better. Um, we still need to sort this out. That really needs to be changed. But I'm quickly going to probably kill about five of these or something, just so that some can breed. And then I'm gonna finish the episode there. Okay, let's see. If we that's smooth stone galore. Good. And I oh god's sake. Um I need to do wait, do they stop breeding when you kill them one I can't remember. When they're over here they look up at you and they start nodding. It's really funny. Look at them go. <laughs> 
That's pretty hilarious. Um, let's see, can I manage to trade with any of these guys that isn't... There? Okay. Got, mm, no, I can't really trade with him because I know that I'll just end up not being able to select him again. Which is kind of unfortunate, I suppose, but hey, no, we're not going to kill any of them. I need to... I need to uh, breed some more cows. I'm, I've realised because, of course, I haven't got all my meat or my beef has been steak. I think, yeah, it's steak, isn't it? They call it, yeah. Um, steak has been bought in the shop, so I need to get more of that already going. But the leather's doing well and has not not loads of that has been used. But guys, I am going to finish the episode off here. I hope you enjoyed it because. Um, because I think I was pretty interesting. I saw in the comments. I know I've already said this, but I saw in the comments f uh, of which video was it? My last video. I can't exactly remember. Um, someone said that getting a bit dry. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of lack of. I wasn't really very. I wasn't feeling very in inspired to do anything really. So that's the reason. For the guy that wants to know, I was just. I was all burnt out and that's why in the last few videos I've really not been that motivated to do anything and my voice hasn't been motivated. It's just been kind of like, kind of a bored voice almost you could say. But um, I am hoping, yeah, well not hoping, I know I am, I also want to, this is a two sharp of angle, um, come on. Okay and now we've got freaking stone here. Gonna get rid of that, and then we're gonna have to fill it in with dirt again. It's typical. Um, oh, okay, we got dirt in our in our hot bar. I really, I just can't wait to the 1.8 update. And I'm dragging on here, I know, but I still want to do stuff. Um, I can't wait to the 1.8 update because then I'm gonna finally repair my um, repair my armor that I haven't been using. I'm gonna repair my chest plate, and I'll probably wear that, and then probably just my leggings. I don't really like wearing a hat. I probably will when I do like wither fights and stuff if I if I do them properly because I remember the last one was rather simple it took me what was it like three hits or something no not three hits but not very many hits at all when I killed them pretty damn quickly which is kind of a shame but uh, then showing that I am a pretty strong player especially when it comes to death gains and stuff uh, but yeah guys that is going to be it for this episode Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!